Hello everyone, welcome back to another 5 minute iOS programming tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix the issue that appears when your keyboard hides your text view. I have already created a new project, so we're going to go to main.storyboard. We're going to go down and we're going to search for a scroll view. We'll drag the scroll view into our view controller and we'll make it the size of our view controller. Now we're going to open up the left bar and we're going to make sure that our scroll view has the same width, the same height, and it is vertically centered in the container and horizontally centered in the container. Now we can close that. Now we'll go back to our search and we're going to search for a text field which we'll be typing in and we'll put it somewhere near the bottom of our view controller so it will be covered up by the keyboard. We will go to the constraint section. We'll add in top, left, bottom, and right, width and height, and we'll add those constraints. For our placeholder, we'll type in insert text. Now we'll make the font bigger, and we'll go to editor. In editor, we are going to start by adding in a UI text field delegate. and a UI scroll view delegate. Now we'll go to the bottom and we'll add in some outlets. We'll start with making an outlet for our text field. We'll call it text field. Make sure to have relevant variable names. Now we'll drag in another outlet for our scroll view and we'll call it scroll view. Clear out the extra space, and we'll start a new function. This function will be text field should return. We'll type in text field dot resign first responder and return false. With this function, we will be we'll be resigning the keyboard when the return key is pressed in the text field. We'll add a new function, we'll call this one text field did begin editing. So it will be called when the text field is tapped on. And in here we're going to type in a if statement, if text field dot layer dot position dot y is greater than 250 and parentheses here we're going to be typing in some code that will lift up the scroll view so you can actually see the text field so we'll type in scroll view dot set content offset and for our CG point we will make a new CG point for the X we'll make it zero because we want the we want the X to remain as it was before but for the Y, and we'll make it 260 because 250 is the height of the keyboard, and we want it to be over the keyboard. Animated true, just so it looks good. Now we'll go to the top and we'll type in text field dot delegate equals self, so we can close it on the return button. And so if we need to pass any data from it, we can do so. We'll clear up the extra space and the unneeded comments. And now we'll choose the device we want to build on. And we'll build. As you can see, it has built and we have our text field. When we click on it, it does indeed come up above the keyboard. So now we can actually see what we're typing. However, when we return, the text field does not go back down, which is a problem. We'll go back to our project, and we'll go to View Controller. We'll go to our text field to return, and we'll make some more space. We're going to copy our if text field .layer .position .y, and we'll paste it into there, and we're going to change our y value to zero. So basically, we're resetting it when return is pressed, we're resetting it when the keyboard is resigned. 
Now when, when you click the text field, you type in something, press return, and now it goes back down. Click it again, and it does the same thing. We're done editing, and it goes back down.